Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a brand new release 2024 Topps Heritage Baseball. All 12 boxes. This is pick your team number one. Settle in, get comfy. This is a uh, this is a hefty break here. Big thanks to this group for selling it out straight up. I appreciate you on a hump day, on a Wednesday the 10th. There's everybody right there. EA with the double last spot mojo. Closing out the break. Appreciate you. All right, now let's pop open this case here. All cards ship. I know there's a lot of different variations in here. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to be able to identify every one, every variation on the fly without making this break take the entire evening. So, it's just easier for us to sell, send you everything. So, as long as you see it, You'll get it. A lot of cards in here. This is all the stuff we're looking for. It's Garrett Cole on top. As you know, celebrating the, the 1975 set. Facsimile autographs as well. Box toppers are always fun. Let's keep these over here. Let's the team list right there. And let's roll. Good luck, everybody. We've got the sounds of some basketball on the background. The Minnesota Timberwolves are first in the West. The Denver Nuggets are second in the West. They're in Denver to see who's going who's gonna to be first. Paul saying short prints are turned over. Yes, but someone mentioned earlier that there are some that are not. Jonathan Kent was saying some are not turned over. That's going to make things a little, a little different this year. But again, all card ship, so even if I if I miss a variation, you'll be getting it. What's, uh, are we guaranteed some kind of hit a box? Yeah, it's one auto or relic per box. You're talking about the ones that are part of the base set. Okay, thank you. But aside from the base stuff, just to remind everybody, there are some stuff that are not going to be turned around. So worth taking a look once you get these. We'll do left-right randomizers on those. I'll kind of set those out there so I'll, be, I'll remember to do them. Some of you who may be showing your age will remember the... Um, oh, there's these non-sports one. We'll randomize... Randomize these to one person in the break. All right, that'll also be part of the left-right randomizer. The 
We've got a nice Evan Carter rookie card for the Rangers. That'll be for EA. I guess these are the the ones that are turned around. Junior Caminero. For the Rays, that's going to be for D.Y. I think he's back from his uh, quad injury. Back playing minor, minor league base, or at least getting back into baseball activity. I feel like it won't be too long before we will see him... Uh, See him get the call up like Jackson Holiday he made his debut earlier today. Joey Weimer for the Brew Crew. That's for Emma. This must be some sort of variation, right? You see the, the like, no border? I should have a checklist up here. There's so many. This is part of the fun with, with Heritage. We've got color swap, error variation. That's Cole Reagan and Corbin Carroll. That's one out of every 4,000 packs. So hopefully that'll be obvious when we see it. Image variations are a little more common. Missing facsimile autograph. This one still has the facsimile autograph. Kind of hard to see, but who's up? Facsimile autograph, I think, is still there. But that's one out of our 225. We've got nickname variations, which are pretty short printed. Throwback uniforms, very short printed. Is this, this must be color swap then, I guess? This one is... See, kind of see the tiny small print right there. It says white border. Which on the. This is the all white. There's all white, all black variations. I don't know how rare they are. But this will go to the Giants. Wyland. With San Francisco. This is half the fun of the heritage is finding all these different variations too. Again, all card ship, so if I if I miss some sort of variation, don't worry, you'll get it. I think those base short prints are fairly common. Yeah, it's one out of th every three. Packs? Boxes? Packs, I think. Oh, I got some. The white, the white border is one out of every 12 packs, it looks like. So shorter printed, not super short printed, but... There's our relic. That's going to be Jonathan India. And I'll do a, a hit recap at the end of the break. But this will go to the Reds. And that's going to go to Kevin. Kevin Yang with that one. We'll do a four-way randomizer on that one. There's another all-white border, Carlos Correa.
Kirsch for the Dodgers. That'll be for Scott. Is this a variation too? That must be a variation, right? Is it black and white? Or no, maybe not. Must be some kind of parallel. Oh yeah, black and white image, which is one out of every 163 packs. This is definitely a little bit more shorter printed than the border ones. And it's Alex Lang for the Tigers. That's going to go to Philip. There you go, Phil. Now, thankfully, some of those uh, parallels or variations are, are pretty obvious. Nice Gunnar Henderson for the Orioles. It's going to be for Kevin Thompson. Yeah, I think we have... We have a few different, we have a Kevin Thompson in the break, Kevin Yang in the break, and a Kevin Miyakawa in this break. Welcome, Kevins. And a nice Vita Blue box hopper for the A's, that'll be for EA. I would imagine some of these can be autograph possibilities there as well. All right, let's look up. So let's look at some baseball scores today. Royals beat the Astros 11 to two. Uh, Orioles were down by a number of runs. They came back against the Red Sox, beating the Red Sox seven to five. Jackson Holiday made his debut. No hits, but did drive it in RBI on a sacrifice, fielder's choice, something like that. Uh, Marlins beat the Yankees for their second win of the season, five to two. Jake Berger with a birthday blast. It's his birthday. Happy birthday, Jake! Do you think they'll make a signature burger for Jake? What do you think would be on the Jake Burger? Uh, Padres beat the Cubs ten to two. Yerkes and Profar with a two-run homer today. Guardians beat the White Sox an extra 7-6. Josh Naylor and Bo Naylor. Homers in the same inning. Looks like Arzarena scored from a wild pitch. Scored from second base. Rays beat the Angels in Anaheim 4-2. I was on the Rays last night on a big three unit play and won. And then I did the Angels today, two and a half unit play and lost. Giants beat the Nationals seven to one. Diamondbacks beat the Rockies five to three. In extras, Mariners beat the Blue Jays 6-5. to five. Mariners scored five runs in the top of the 10th to beat the Blue Jays. Phillies beat the Cardinals 4-3. to three. Twins beat my Dodgers 3-2. Edward Julian, two homers today. One of their big prospects. And uh, got some games in progress. Top of the ninth, A's are uh, trailing the Rangers by four runs. Rangers leading 6-2, to two, so last chance for the A's. I was on the ace for a little bit. And then uh, Brewers leading the Reds 7-2 going into the bottom of the ninth. That's your update. And we've got a purple chrome. Oh, this must be one of those, uh, the purple chrome hot boxes. Right? Because there's another one right here. All right, so they'll, they'll mix in some chrome cards in there.
which I also like. Is that right? Is that six in a row for the Royals? And there's our relic for the box. It's Eloy Jimenez. A little bit of damage right there, unfortunately. See, I've seen that with some, a couple of these cards already. It's generally from the, uh, from the factory level. There's a machine that pushes these cards in. Sometimes it'll catch on those edges, which is unfortunate. But Sanford with the White Sox, that'll go to you. Just pointing that out for you. These will be part of the... Uh, the uh, non non baseball card. Everyone will get a shot. It will randomize one person. Chrysler launches the first automobile rebate that revolutionized the auto buying market forever. Hmm. So some blast from the past. There's a white border card right there. Which is relatively, I think the black borders are, are way less common. Both are pretty short printed though. Hot box. Is there two hot boxes per case, or is it just this one? There's an Owen White. That's numbered 456 out of 999. One per case on average, says Chilo. Thank you, Chilo. Owen White will go to EA. Got a numbered card, Chrome. All card ship. So I would, uh, if you, when you get your cards in the mail, I would double check for any uh, parallels or variations that I may have, uh, that I may have missed throughout the course of this break. Trying to find the balance between trying to find those variations, but also getting through this break in a sort of a, a slightly more efficient manner. Sometimes those facsimile autographs throw me off. There's Eli Morgan. And there's an Ellie Dela Cruz rookie car. That's going to be for Kevin Yang and the Reds. Saw a silver Otani chrome pulled. That would be pretty cool. I'd like to pull something like that. Nice Ellie Dela Cruz. And that purple chrome. Max Freed. Nestor Cortez. Got a Alexis Diaz. Jaron Duran. Colton Towser. And we got a Jason Dominguez for the Yankees. That'll be for Tristan. Rookie card. All right, nice. All right, 
right, another box. They should put ball gum into this like the old days. Oh, here's a... Uh, here's an actual card from 1975. Just re-stamped right there. That's pretty cool. Paul Limblad, A's. It's going to go to EA and the A's. Pretty cool to see. Gila, have you ever had uh, a stick of gum from an old Topps baseball card pack? I think I had one once a number of years ago. Pretty gross. Yeah, gross, right? Um, if you're lucky, I think I've done it a couple times, if you're lucky, you'll still get some of the like, sugary powder on the outside of it. So for a split second, you'll get like, you'll get, you'll get a hit of bubble gum. But then basically, it just, it just crumbles into your mouth. Like you can't even chew it. You can't even add enough saliva to soften it up. So that's initially what I tried too. I was like, oh, I'll just soak it and then I'll, I'll try to chew it. No, then it just becomes a mushy, cardboardy kind of mess. I'll bet eating a, a Vet Common would probably taste better than that piece of gum. All right, end of the first 1.6 left in the first quarter. Minnesota's up by two. Kind of wild that they thought that doing that back then was a good idea. Damn. I mean, I think... I want to say, back in the day... It was, baseball cards were a way to move candy. So it's like, hey, buy this for the candy, you might get some baseball cards. After they couldn't do tobacco, it used to be, hey, buy some cigarettes. Get a trading card. But when they stopped doing that, it was a way to move their, their, their candy property. All right, next box. Have not seen an autograph yet. How many autos are there per, per case? Any, anyone know? There's a Jose Ferrer, all white border. And there's a Kimbrel for the Phillies. There's Otani, let's see if we can find some Especial Otanis. Luis Garcia. Three or four per case is Gila. All right, thank you, Gila. Brian Rocchio for the Guardians. Saw quite a few cases with only two. All right. well, hopefully that'll make the, uh, the autos just that much more valuable if they're harder to hit. There's Randy Arazarena. Mason Wynn.
And there's an autograph, Zach Geloff. I feel like this is actually a pretty good one. EA with the A's. He's a big prospect for the A's, right? Yeah, he played college, he was a second round pick. By the end of his first year, Fangraphs had him as, as the club's second best prospect. Nice. In January 2024, MLB.com ranked Zach Geloff the ninth best second baseman. Ninth best second baseman in the major leagues. Doesn't he have a brother? He plays for the Dodgers, maybe? Zach Geloff was originally drafted by the Dodgers. I mean, that's what it was. In uh, 41 at bats this year, he's got 10 hits, one home run, batting 244, eight runs scored, four RBIs, a couple stolen bases, an OPS of 755. Not bad. This early stage of the season. There you go, EA on the board with an auto. Gary Sanchez for the Padres. Jordan Hicks, Blue Jays. And then we've got a Chrome Max Scherzer, nice. Uh, 256 out of 375 for the Rangers. That'll be for EA. And there's a Jaron Duran Duran, hungry like the wolf, going to Jonathan Kent. All right, another box. And another old school card right here, Dave Hamilton. Another A for EA. I think that A's Rangers game is now a final. It's officially won six to two. I think that's that's it. I think all every every game is in the books now. So we'll watch watch the basketball game, the battle for first. Denver up by uh, up by a point. Should we work through some basketball scores? The Thunder put, a, put the hurt on the Spurs. 
127 to 89. Spurs only scored 11 points in the first quarter. No Giannis for the next few games. He's recovering for a, from a uh, calf issue. It was not the disaster that, that a lot of people fear that it would be, the Achilles. Bucks beat the Magic 117 to 99. Doncic, 29 points, almost a triple double. They beat the Heat 111 to 92. Raptors uh, fell to the Nets. Nets won 106 to 102. Hornets beat the Hawks by one, 115 to 114. Are Hawks in a playoff? I don't think they are. Uh, Cavs beat the Grizz 110 to 98. Suns are in LA. They're playing the Clippers. Clippers leading 10 to 2 early, very early in the first. I think the Clippers don't have a bunch of players playing today. Now, I don't think Paul George is playing. I don't think Kawhi is playing. I think the. Uh, Suns do have their full squad playing. And there's a black border right here. I think these are a lot more shorter printed than the than the white border. That Gabriel Moreno gonna go to Kevin Thompson in the Diamondbacks. I guess I'll have that checklist up. White borders one out of every 12 packs in hobby. And Black Boar is one out of every 97. So a little more short printed, a little more, a little, a little more rare. This flashback here, Trans Alaska Pipeline. David Bednar. Uh, go for Joe, over. Yep. I appreciate that, over. Uh, signing off, over. And we've got a Jesus Lazardo to 9.99. Chrome card, numbered, Marlins, EA. Fred Lynn. First uh, to win AL MVP award. First rookie to win AL MVP. Roddy Tellez. Austin Meadows. I will, Gilo. And the hit in the box, Clubhouse Collection, Brian Reynolds. Piece of the lumber going to the Pirates. That's for Walter. Jonathan India. We've got the uh, white border, Johan Duran for the Twins.
Oh, what a season for Ronald Acuna Jr. and Justin with that one. And there's a Mitch Garver. Next box. And we've got another old 1975 card. That'll be part of that uh, left-right randomizer. About what? I didn't ask if your birthday was. Oh, it was good. How was yours? It was good. Chilo says hi. Hi, Chilo. Has everyone done their taxes? Not too much time left. Break is also taking much longer than I thought. We're 40, 38 minutes in. And I'm not halfway through the case, so I might have to change my time projection. Sorry. Underestimated the time it takes. Or no, maybe I did, no. I said, I said hour and a half, right? I'd be violating the pitch clock the entire time, Gilo. The pitch clock can't help me go faster. Just a lot going on here. And there's the relic, Zach Gallon. Game use memorabilia for Kevin and the Diamondbacks. Got a Stuart Fairchild for the Reds. Kevin Y with that, the Kyle Schorber for the Phillies, Jeffrey with the white border, Kyle Schorber. There's Chris Stratton for the Rangers, Black Border. Sony launches the Betamax. 
back in the uh, back in the seventies or it's at nineteen seventy five. I would guess, right? Tony Angels edition. Jordan Hicks, all white border. Jordan Walker for the Cardinals. So he's ex interpreted faces federal charges. I would imagine he would. Yeah, I think I saw an article earlier today that was talking about how he's uh, intending to plead guilty so the whole process can move as quickly as possible and maybe he'll, he'll get a lighter sentence. Fred Lynn, the article went on to say that he, uh, that sources were, people quoted in the article were saying, a few different sources were saying he was, the interpreter was able to, because the big question was, well, how did, how did he send all this money without anybody, without Otani knowing? So apparently he had enough access where he was able to turn off any notifications which I suppose if you have someone's, you know, bank login, you can just go and click off like some of the notifications. Is that a phone thing? That's your phone re I just gotta check something. Yeah, I gotta check something. Turn off all the settings. And just turn off all the notification settings. What is this thing? Oh, that's it. Remember when you bought that last week? Remember? You know, transfer that money? Yeah. <laughs> box. That looked different for a second, but...
Sharon Duran, Red Sox. And there's the relic, that's Eloy Jimenez. Going to the White Sox, that's for Sanford. And here's an Ellie De La Cruz rookie card for Kevin and the Reds. Everyone see that inside the park homer? Man. Fun player to watch, electric. All right, red shown dice to white border for the Cardinals. Aaron Saval, one of those base short prints flipped around. Tyler Stevenson. Saw the Betamax. I want to see something different. And there's uh, Dean Kramer. I already got the Betamax. We we get it. Now, from my understanding of history, the Betamax was supposed to be of a better quality, right? But then some but somehow VHS I think won the won the video cassette war. Nice Jason Dominguez box topper. Yankees, Tristan. It's pretty cool. Like laser discs were supposed to be of a better quality than DVDs. But no one liked the like the the size of the uh, laser discs. But nowadays with vinyl records come making a comeback, maybe people would have liked to have. I don't know, it's probably not as easy to make a comeback for uh, for the uh, for laser disc, so Awesome. Uh, I already showed those, yes. Yeah, I mean, feel free to take as many of these off my hands as possible. Michael, you want to show your uh, your Venmo QR code to the camera so they can tip you for uh, helping this break go faster? <laughs> Thanks to Michael Jaspi for saving the day here. The only thing I want to do is... <laughs> okay. 
I do owe you for uh, for dinner. Mm. Or pizza night. Maybe I'll collect. You, you want to collect on that tomorrow? <laughs> All right, onwards. Are you? Can you spot any of the variations just by sight? No. Going this fast? Okay. They're backwards. Well, the short, the base short prints are flipped around, but someone was saying that not all of the other ones are flipped around. Like the full black border ones are a little bit short. Like those are like yeah. one every three hundred. Yeah. So. I guess. Yeah, there's the white borders. Those are a little more common. Those are like two per box, I think. But I think there's ones without the facsimile, and maybe, I don't know. Yeah, Hopefully some of the shorter print ones will be a little more obvious. But um, apparently next to the card number, they'll they'll write the variate. They'll have the variation typed in. So when you get your cards, ladies and gentlemen, probably worth a quick check on the back. Yeah. Yeah, sure. there we go. Remember this, Michael? Yeah. The Altair 8800 launched the first commercially successful personal computer. That's what computers looked like back in the day. Can you imagine? No. Like the 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 phones in our pockets have like a million times the computing power of this yeah, thing. No. That's just it's just wild to think about. Back then, you'd be lucky to make that add up like. Add up numbers. You'd be like, oh, awesome. You know, we can do payroll on this now. It'll just take an hour to calculate numbers. I'm putting I'm putting floppy disks in things. Have you ever seen a floppy disk? But I Senga, who's just moved to the 60 day IL. Thank you. There's a box coming into into frame. And in a while that you, you would have to like, there would be like floppy disks were like this big. It's like a little circle, like a little magnetic strip right there. You'd have to actually put into the computer to have programs yeah. run. It's wild. There's a box topper right there. Those are the, the actual cards from? Yeah, the, the actual, the ones that are stamped. Back in the day. Christopher Morell relic. That would be for the Cubbies. DY with the Cubs. Garver for the Rangers. White border Mike Soroka for the White Sox. Also, like the chrome cards. Like Connor Joe. To, uh... Yeah, some of those chrome cards do look pretty cool. We saw like a Max Scherzer number to like 375. Catch, ah, speaking of which, Adley Rushman, 433 out of 9.99. Orioles, Kevin Thompson. Freddie Peralta. Michael, what is that? Dice that over. Mm. Uh, check the thing where the markers are. Over. It was hiding between markers. Thank you. Over. Oh, that was crazy. <laughs> Adolf Garcia.
Bob Gibson is the box topper. I'm assuming these, some of these could be autographed as yeah. well. Nice. There's a Devin Sweet all white border. And a Corey Yulks for the Astros. That'll be for Ed P. And this sweet card will go to Kevin M. Also like the black and white. I did see one of those. Like the, the picture is black and white. Yeah. Those are pretty easy to spot. I'm, I kind of want to see one. There's like ones with no facsimile. All right. Autographs. <laughs> oh, I thought that was one. Right I know. I thought that was one too. So like that's kind of been jamming me up because I'm like looking for it. And then I was like, and it throws me off for a couple of seconds. I'm like, oh, that one has one. Francisco Lindor is your relic in the box. One relic or autograph. We've only seen one auto. It was a nice one, Zach Geloff, but hopefully we can see some more before, What's up, before we're done with this break. There's, um, like I've been checking like once like pack set to see if like there's a relic in there because if I don't see one, then, oh, yeah. then, then I'm like, I have to then, lo actually look, look for a real autograph. <laughs> I know, these facsimile autos can jam you up. Nathan Lowe. And also like the cards being so many different colors kinda throws me off. I'm sorry. Michael Kopek. Right, because they're like, is this an orange parallel or no, it's just a regular card. Jason, Jason's a, a experienced breaker. I think he can, he can handle immaculate. Paul, or national treasures, whatever it is. Well, that's only one box. Joe, Joe needs my help. There's Ali Dela Cruz. Ooh, nice Corbin Carroll box topper. Kevin Thompson with the D-backs. Oh no, that's his fax on the autograph right there, right? Okay. Come on, CJ Crone. It almost looks like a no facsimile. We got Estuary Ruiz to 575. Just goes to show you how much of the stuff they make that you get one numbered card <laughs> and it's like usually numbered to 999 or 575. Right. Riverfront Coliseum opens in Cincinnati back in the 70s. We'll randomize that to one person. We'll do all those randos at the end. We'll do top bottom randomizers. We'll do left right randomizers. One, two, three, four randomizers. All the randos. All right, so that was one box. Here's another box. There's another box. So yeah, for these ones, we'll go one, two, three, four on the randomizer. All white border, Francisco Mejia for the Rays. Mitch Keller for the Pirates. And a relic, Luis Matos. That's for Wylan and the Giants. We 
we got Craig Kusick. Man, look at those shades. That's pretty cool. I don't know. It was the 70s. So this could be like some sort of 70s disco cocaine booze binge. And they caught him the next day at the ballpark. He's like, get out of my face. You know? Get that camera out of my face, dude. Luis Severino. The Superdome opened up in the 70s. Superdome. Those look like girl sunglasses. Well, maybe he was... The Top Gun shades. Yeah, those are more like aviator glasses, Philo. You know, I don't know. In the 70s, there was a little more, you know, like David Bowie and stuff, a little more gender fluidity back in the day before that became a trendy thing. Those guys were ahead of their time. It's Freddie Freeman. You know, maybe he was listening to a lot of, he was listening to a lot of glam rock. 70s glam rock, little uh, David Bowie, little T-Rex. Crazy 70s. It's back here. This card feels a little different because it is different. 471 and 999, Jordan Walker. Going to Ed P and the Cardinals. Thank you, Michael Jaspi. And when a hero comes along, the find the strength to carry on in this heritage break. Thanks, Mike. Right. And we've got a black border Dick Williams for the Angels. That'll be for Justin. Um, Yeah, we're going to ship everything, but the rare variants are likely just prior to the flipped over one. Okay, I'll try to keep an eye out for it. But yeah, all cards will ship, so Jonathan, oh, so that Yoshida you saw, you'll obviously get it. So like that card could pos potentially be something? Is that what you're saying? Correct, okay. That's what you meant from earlier. All right, so that does help. Because then I should just check the backs of every one of these really quick. And as long as it doesn't say anything, we can move on. Oh, and there's an autograph. Burt Blyla. All right, good tip, Jonathan. Thank you. Yeah, I wasn't sure what you meant earlier, but now that I'm doing the break, I see exactly what you mean. Uh, twins, Tristan with the Twins. is pretty obvious because that's you can kind of see it right there but it's the black and white mm -hmm. 
Black and white Nick Allen going to EA and the A's. Whoa. That is a great hit. From the original... Wow. That does sound really cool. Any idea how many of those there are? Like, was it numbered? Not numbered, so we don't know how many there of those there could be. It's still cool though. Fall of Saigon, Vietnam War ends. And Merrill Kelly. If you are a uh, history person, Especially with, with war history, I think. Was it Ken Burns, I think, who did a Vietnam sort of documentary? It was one of his more recent projects, but really good if you haven't seen it. It's worth a, it's worth a watch. And there's a Jordan Westberg to $9.99. And Jake Rogers. I feel like Jordan Westberg had a nice game earlier today. It's Kevin Thompson with the O's. We've got a lot of a uh, lot of youngsters, a lot of talented youngsters on that team. All right, two boxes to go right here, ladies and gentlemen. Two to go. Oh, Vanessa has a business card. Oh, yeah. What's her business card say? Vanessa Cordero. Wow. What a title. Where's your business card? In the uh, top row, top cabinet, top drawer of that cabinet right over there? Do you have some? Yeah. There's one Yepes. Why? Why do you have you know, when when I'm, uh, I'm just when I'm chatting up the ladies at the bar, they're like, oh, you can just hit me up here, and they're like, oh, Lee Breaker at Jaspi's Case Rigs. That's awesome. Yeah, I rip sports cards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, big, no big deal. Oh my God, have you ever ripped Flawless? I'm like, yep, <laughs> I have. Oh my God, that is so hot. Girls love it. Girls love it. Wow, you, do you think you have any flawless like at your apartment, back at your house, that I could see? Oh, an empty briefcase. Yeah, I've got an <laughs> I've got an empty briefcase or two. Oh my god, can I go see? Yeah, sure. Come on over. Randy Arzarania, piece of the jersey, going to DY and the Rays. I'm, why, why would I ask them if they're from Tennessee, Gilo? Are you saying, wow, I, th I think I see what Gilo's saying. All right, hey, see you, Teddy. Gilo, are you implying that, that maybe people from Tennessee are not smart? 
and that they would they would be impressed by stuff like that, empty flawless briefcases. That's, that's not nice, Chilo. I have a lot of friends, very sharp friends from Tennessee. Oh no. Alright. This Are you from Tennessee because you're all the only ten I see. I get it. I get it. I don't get it. You're the only ten I see. Like you're ten years old? Whoa. You have a whole box here of David's sunflower seeds. Josh Kitty. What? I couldn't I can't find barbecue David's barbecue sunflower seeds anywhere. And I've been to multiple gas stations, grocery stores, liquor stores, convenience stores. Order them online. And I didn't find any. Ordered a case of David's barbecue sunflower seeds online, and they, you know, per bag cheaper than I would have paid at a retail outlet. So screw them. Screw them. Don't need you. There's Luis Matos to 375 for the Giants. V for Wyland. And Daisbel Hernandez. Not to be confused with his rival, Knights Bell Hernandez. Like that? Day's Bell? Night's Bell? I don't see any business cards in Bell? What? To the what? Isn't there a box in, on the left? Like underneath? Yeah, those. This is Jim Fletcher. Jim Fletcher? Right here. Joseph Joe Jaspi. Lead group break host. Wow. Lead group break host. That sounds really nice. That was business card. Oh, yeah? I got a made in, uh... <laughs> I, was, I, I have a I have a none of your business card. <laughs> I went, when I was going to Vegas, my dad like for his trade shows. So oh, some business cards. Nice. I was like, what do I put on it? He's like, put um, international like, badass. Vice president. Oh. Sounds like <laughs> nice. <laughs> Just a generic vice president. I want to be a generic vice president. Both the blackboard and the whiteboard just say whiteboard on the back. Just the disrespect for for heritage, Jonathan. The disrespect for heritage. They're they're, they're not putting their their uh, their top team on here. Their top copy editing team. J. P. Crawford. Ah, the Viking One launched towards Mars. Classic moment in history. There's a Jason Dominguez. And coming up on the final box. It's the final heritage box. Do 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 do. The final heritage ball. Do, 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 do. There's Martin Maldonado. Oh no, I did not, I didn't mean to do that. You know, Jonathan and everybody else, I'll see if I can ask the, uh, the shipping team very nicely if they, if they want to take a look at the backs and pull any cards that have those lettering on there. So. And if they spot any, then they will... Make sure those are sleeved and top loaded. There's Jose Ramirez to 575 for the Guardians. Yanka with that one. 445 out of 575. There's still a chance we might might miss something there. There's the the Apache helicopter makes its first flight. 
And Apache's been around for a while. Different updates to it since then, but still. All right. No autograph in the fun. So we only ended up with two autos in this case, but here is a Joe Musgrove relic for the Friars. That's going to be for Christian and the Padres. All right, but let's see if we can find some short prints, some variations. There's Jameson Tyon working his way back from injury. Ellie Dela Cruz. It'll be for D. It'll be for Kevin. Kevin Yang and the Reds. Blake Rutherford, white border. Wait, was that an Austin Wells auto? I don't think so. Those facsimiles always always make it look like there's an auto, but No, there's, they're just really good facsimiles. good I, I still every once in a while I'll catch myself stopping I was like wait is that a, oh, no it's not <laughs> See, that looks like there's a no facsimile, but that's actually, you can see little squigglies right there. That's his autograph right there. I, I don't like that one. Because it makes you think it's one of those no facsimile variations. All right, we are donezos. Big thanks to Michael Jaspi for helping me out. We've got a bit of randomizing to do here, so let's, let's do that before I do a quick little recap.
All right, so... Hey, no worries, Jonathan. Thank you. Let's flip back over here. We need uh, four lists, I think. So first... So first we need everybody's names. This is for all of the uh, news flashbacks cards or any non-baseball cards that there may be. Then we're gonna do a top and bottom randomizer for those type of cards. Then we'll do left-right randomizer, which includes that box topper from 1975. And then we'll go um, positions one, two, three, four. And let's roll it and randomize it. Uh, three and a six, nine times for all four of those lists. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. After nine times, Phil, you're going to get those, uh, Get all of the news flashback cards and any other non-baseball cards that there may be. Nine times for top bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Top. Top cards will get those. Once again, nine times, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Right side, we'll get these. Right side teams and the four player cards, nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. Position three, we'll get it, so that's one, two, and three. So the bottom left, we'll get those. And a quick little recap. Mostly relics, but some caught some variations, some black and whites. Ellie, black borders, a lot of great relics. Purple, the purple chrome Ellie Dela Cruz is also really nice. And then a couple autographs, old school and new school. There you go, my friends. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for breaking with me. Oh, box toppers as well. Thanks for breaking with me. I will see you next time for the next Heritage Break. Bye-bye.